Things are making Thursday, things are making Thursday, things are making Thursday, yeah. Cue the real song. Things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, yeah. Things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, yeah. Hey there, Sunshines. It's Michelle here, and it is Things We're Making Thursday, recorded on a Wednesday with a uh, special thanks to J. Hook Magic and her husband for the little jingle. Um, as I like to tell people, if you want to hear the whole song, go to somebody else's channel. I don't include the whole song because it started out as a thing where they gave you a pattern and everybody made the same pattern every month to where now you just have a theme. And so a lot of the words in the song don't actually apply now. So I just take out the part that we all remember anyway. Before we continue, I want to invite you guys to hook the subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments. I also wanted to say that down below the Things We're Making Thursday Facebook group will be listed as well as the themes for the upcoming months. And Hashtag. I was like, what's the other thing? A uh, hashtag for the um, the things we're making Thursday. If you want to go see what other people have been doing. This month has been bags. Today is the last Thursday of the month. So I have been working on a bag. And I started with doing the um, fortress stick. It's knit. I knitted the fortress stretch along the bottom. And then I worked up about this much doing the fortress stitch around the whole thing. And I decided I didn't like it. I, I didn't mind it, but it was taking forever. And I, there were things about it I didn't like. So I went and changed it. And now I have the fortress stitch on my ends and just plain stocking it through the middle. It does make for an interesting little thing because the stockinette kind of expands out so it's kind of shaped interesting. This has less stretching give to it. This has a lot of stretching give to it um, and that's okay. Um, I have, I've been trying to figure out what exactly I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be switching over to the Tunisian crochet. April is try Tunisian crochet. I have done Tunisian crochet. I have even done Tunisian crochet in the round before. If I rem can find a picture of it, I will include my daughter's reversible hat. She couldn't wear it. I don't know if it's because she overheats. Maybe it wasn't too big enough. I don't remember. But you can't really wear it, but we loved it. We loved it. Um, and that was really fun to make. I don't really, and I don't know. I don't hate Tunisian crochet. I just don't do it consistently. It's not, it's something that every once in a while it's kind of fun to make a Tunisian crochet pattern, but that's not really my thing. Although I did just see like a washcloth pattern design um, from Tunisian. It takes the knit concept of a um, one where you work from corner to the other corner so it's worked on the bias. There's a knit dishcloth that I've made before and it's the same concept so I actually might make that but the first thing we're going to do is take and put this around onto a Tunisian hook and I think I figured out how to do it so I just got to find my hook and then do it. So this is where we're at so far. Like I said I am going to switch to Tunisian. I think I'm just going to do a simple Tunisian stitch for the rest of the bag. I'm trying to decide if I want to switch yarns or just keep going in this yarn. It's a really good thing this is just a bag for me because otherwise I'd be like 
I would I don't have a problem with switching to the simple stitch here but going from knit to a simple Tunisian crochet stitch might look a little weird to me there but I'm thinking I don't know maybe changing the yarn color would work or maybe it would be a good idea there's more than one way to work in the round and one of the ways I wouldn't have to worry about two colors and it would just be nice and and simple the other way takes two colors and you have one color that would show up on one side and the other color shows up on the other side so I don't know I gotta decide that part I think I'm just gonna work in the same yarn I have this much left on my thing it was not a brand new thing to start with I did not I didn't even think to wait to see how much I have or how much this weighs but uh, this is how far I've gotten so for bag month I did finish that one bag at the beginning of the month that was a really quick project and then I have just been chugging along and this is a slower knit process on this side knitting in general can be a little bit slower but also this is a fairly mindless knit so that's nice I can take it places with me I don't have car knitting like some people do because I'm the driver um my one son that has a driver's license hates driving vans so he won't drive the van plus technically we don't actually own the van right now so that also plays a role um my 20 year old daughter has a an issue with flashing lights so she can't even get her license and then the two other kids that are old enough for license um, have not passed tests to get their learner's permits yet so we'll see how that goes um, we've been talking about it and we've the one kid has tried a few times but we'll see that's gonna be one of the things maybe we'll work on the book and stuff during spring break next week we'll see because it would be nice but at the same time I don't have to pay insurance for them if they don't have licenses so that's okay um, so yeah I'm the driver so I don't have car knitting I don't knit while driving so you know can't take car knitting but I do like to have a project with me um, when I'm taking my son to work sometimes I have to wait in the car for a few minutes for him and so I'll knit in the car while waiting for him sometimes I have to go pick him up at night if I have to go pick him up at night then I need to have something to sit and wait for him there and it's always nice to take something because you never know like when you're gonna be in a line or something and just sit and work on something so I definitely like to have an on-the-go project but I don't necessarily have car projects because I don't because I'm always the driver so anyway oh, that was a random little tangent y'all wanted to know right anyway thanks for being here remember to let your light shine through your creations um, be sure to follow the hashtag if you're a content creator and you would like to join with join with us we would love for you to post videos about what you're making if you are not a content creator you are still welcome to join us you can share what you're doing in the Facebook group you could share pictures with any of us who are content creators we will be happy to say hey look what so-and-so made or if you want to be anonymous you can say hey I made this but I don't want anybody to know who I am and I would just say hey one of my subscribers has shared this with me she wants to be anonymous or he wants to be anonymous because you can be a guide creator um, anyway so you don't have to be a content creator to share on the fun of making bags or Tunisian crochet or oh I'm gonna look really quickly I want to see what else is coming up so we've got March has been bags tried Tunisian crochet for April and May is household items June is a wearable and then July is amakarumi which is stuffed toys for anybody who doesn't know August something made from granny squares because that is granny square month it was supposed to be 
April, and then they switched it because they found out that it was Granny Square Month. Um, September is shawls, October Halloween, November is hats, and December is holiday of choice. I'm guessing part of why holiday of choice is worded as such is uh, because not everybody celebrates Christmas, and then it opens up to um, be the holidays. But hey, maybe I'll make something for Valentine's Day that month. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably make something Christmas. But I might not. <sighs> maybe I'll make something for New Year's. Alrighty. Anyway, like I was saying, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.